It's the Kyle and Jackie O Show this morning here at Kiss FM. We have the two hosts of the Today Show, Georgie Garner, Deb Knight. Good morning, Hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. Hi. Good morning. Hello. Hello. How's it going down there in Melbourne? Oh, it is on fire. I don't know if you've ever come down for the tennis, but it is electric down I here. I did it's a, once. It's a buzz to be here, I've got to say. And what about, can I ask something? Your sports reporter, Tony. Uh, was Tony Jones. Ca- yeah, Tony Jones was caught saying to himself as as they went from the break, nice and happy, nice and happy. What, what was that about? Put that into context for us. Well, everyone's got voices in their head, don't they, when they work in TV or radio. We were just having a chat during the ad break and we, I think we were just joking around and Tony's like, come on, everyone, nice and happy, oh, nice and happy. Okay, and, okay. and then it was on, he was on air, on air yesterday as well um, during the ad break. We were saying something, we caught him out and he's like, oh, everyone's in shot. And we're like, Tony, you're on air now. <laughs> Mate, everyone's in shot. Everyone's in Guess shot. What? <laughs> you know, we have the same thing here, but it's like, don't say f***. Don't say f-. <laughs> that's well, right. That's our mantra. I'll get yep. beeped out. Don't get stressed, ladies. And no, you'll hear nothing. <laughs> so, look, a lot of chat about the, uh, the two female hosts. I thought it was a great idea. As soon as I read it, I thought, hey, this will work. It works really well in America. I've been watching that uh, Today Show over there. I, I don't know what the big hoo-ha is. One man, one woman, two women, two men. Does it really matter? Because they've really sort of focused in on that as if, oh, it's a big thing. I think it. I think it's a good idea. Well, it's a new format for the Australian market. So I mean, f- you know, that is new, and that's a uh, that's something I guess that's been getting a lot of attention. But I think you're right. It's the best people for the job, that's regardless right. of your gender. And you know, I think G- Georgie and I have worked together in so many capacities over the years, both on the Today Show and in the newsroom. So yeah, I think I think it's great, and it's we play to our strengths. We're both very different people, and I think we're sort of tr- finding our banter as, as a duo. As yep. as you guys know, you sort of work out yeah. who who can take. The, the lead on on particular areas but yeah it's it's exciting it's really great so much pressure on you guys though wasn't it it's oh, it's yeah. it's very difficult when you start you know a new team and the spotlight is just on you constantly and every I everything's quite enjoy being scrutinized. That, to tell you the truth, Jackie. Yeah, enjoy he's that. good under, the, uh, under that kind of pressure. <laughs> how, how have you guys been, how's the whole team been with that? Yeah, well, a lot of people have asked what was that first day like and I've got to say, um, it, it, more than anything, I mean, we knew the content was right, we had the right players sitting in the right seats, it was more just a case of that the heaviness of that scrutiny. Mm. And you're right, um, I mean, you just can't hide in TV. Every, every, every look, every yeah. expression, every side comment, I mean, every side glance, everything obviously goes to air and is analysed and scrutinised and often, um, you know, that the analysis of it is actually quite wrong, yeah. by the way. <laughs> also, we were sort of written off within half an hour of the show, the first show. It was like this yeah. commentary was coming through and it was just like, well, usually when you do a review of a show, you tend to watch it till the finish. <laughs> yes. yeah. So exactly. I was sort of hoping that that would have occurred. But you know. Is it true, though, that Sunrise have hired a team of Russians to get on air and write bad <laughs> comments about you guys? <laughs> oh, fake news. That's got to be fake news, Carl. Come on. Come on. Speaking of fake news, Deb, there have been reports in the women's magazine that you're leaving already. What? You've decided yeah. to quit. She didn't even tell me, Jackie. Yeah. I know. Okay. What a friend. Didn't even have the decency to tell me. Where well, does I this did... stuff come from? Uh, we're... Good question. Well, I did go home and see my family <laughs> on the weekend because I've got young kids and so I went and, and hung out with them on the weekend and I thought, I did think twice about getting on the flight, frankly, because they're heading off on holidays to the south coast of New South Wales. I thought, well, that'd oh, be quite that'd be nice. nice. <laughs> but I did get on the plane. Don't worry. I'm here. And um, yeah, I think, you know, writing me off five days Days in might be a little too soon. Yeah, I yes. agree. Now, Georgie, when uh, Carl left, was there a lot of secret meetings, or were you? Did you find out when everyone else found out, or were you involved in the secret meetings? Because I'm great at. So I did a lot of secret meetings when we left our old station to come here. Oh, we were having you? secret Carl's meetings. The king of secret oh, meetings. Two in the morning at a hotel and stuff. Like, I love the yeah. sneaking Georgie, around. Georgie, I didn't even oh. know about those meetings. Just so you know, one day I got a call from Kyle just saying, oh, by the way, I've just told Today FM we're leaving. And I said, <laughs> I've just got a mortgage on a home. What are you that. doing to me? I remember. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe there are secret meetings that you know about and we're at that I didn't know about. But um, <laughs> no, no secret meetings. I, I'd actually um, left town and um, was, was quite removed obviously there was um i was involved in the and consulted i guess out of respect yep. uh in terms of um who would be carl's replacement or oh, did they have photos up and you a new shows or what happened put red crosses through yeah, i don't like her i yeah. don't like yeah. him yeah. <laughs> far from it no it was um 
um, you know, it was it was a um, as you would expect, given the um, importance of the and and the stature of the gig. There was a lot of discussion and consultation, and it came down to the person with the. The, the, the right credentials who was already very well loved by the Today Show audience and um, when they said it was Deb I was as thrilled as anyone I was, was excited as well because uh, Deb not, like, we've watched you for a long time so it, I thought are they going to bring someone new out of the woodwork or and to see you on there I thought oh I'm comfortable with that I'm, yeah. I'm quite excited to see this show Oh, I'm glad you were comfortable. I was comfortable with it too. But, uh, you know, I, I, lo- I mean, I've worked on the show from the minute I walked in the door at Channel 9 seven years ago and in various capacities on the weekend Today Show team and on, on the weekday show. And I've, I've filled in over various, you know, yeah. periods of time and, and I just love the show. And so I'm really glad that – I'm really glad they picked me. Me too. Um, and it was <laughs> an, an exciting, you know, exciting thing way to kick off the, the new year. And, Georgie, was there anyone who didn't return that surprised you? Well, yes. Yes. Okay, name names. And, and, Let's, yeah, name them. Let's list them. Well, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, jokes aside, it was a very tough week. It would and have been. And they were my colleagues and they were my team last year. And, um, you know, it, 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 that, that, that's that been a tricky transition. Yeah, okay. Um, and so what what kind of things do you have in store for us? Is the Today Show... Because a lot of people have been complaining that there's no little weather icon in the bottom. So oh, we know I that noticed that. Changed. That was me. I was complaining is that, there was is no that, weather. Has that come back or is it coming back? Oh, oh look, I don't even really gosh, know that's, that. That's that's a question for upstairs. We'll take that, up, we'll take that yeah. up with the bosses and say, yeah. you know, Jackie wants the icon back. Oh, so no, it wasn't me. Oh, I wanted Kyle, it back. It Kyle, me. totally uh, wanted back. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it, Carl. We'll, we'll take it up. But uh, yeah, thank you. We'll try and keep the um, you know the the groundwork of the show the same because obviously it's about news, it's about entertainment, it's about bringing. The, uh, the information that people want to find yep. out when they wake up in the morning. That's the heart and soul of the show is still exactly the same. But while you're at it, any other tips and suggestions? No, <laughs> well, don't worry. I wasn't no, no. coming from me. I was just saying, isn't it funny how people focus on little things like that, little changes? What, what's, the, what's American Dad's name? The, the guy, the beautiful man from the 60 Minutes. What's his name? American Dad with the big American Dad jaw. What's his name? The news bloke. Mm. Who, Tom Stein? Yes, Tom. Oh, right. God. He's got the chiseled <laughs> jaw. The guy is the big jaw. He's got the big chiseled jaw now. I think he He's looks like Monty Dwyer from yesteryear, remember? <laughs> he does. He yeah. does look like him. Yeah. He's very good as well. Oh, yeah, I, I he think is he's good. a high-quality uh, broadcaster. Yeah, well, well he and, is. And Tom brings some great skills to the to the show as well. I mean, we did an interview last week with Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf, and it was just this fantastic sit-down interview, similar to what he was doing with 60 Minutes. He's able to bring yeah. this... Uh, this great skill that he has, not just as reading news, but, I mean, it's an ensemble, it's a team, so yeah. we're not sort of within these structured roles, we're, we're working together, and um, yeah, he, he brings a really great element to the show. Oh. And he's very cheeky, he's which I cheeky love. Thing. He's got a cheeky he smile. I'm going to bring that, I want to bring that cheekiness yeah, out, yeah, share I, it with the rest I've of the country. Ne- we've never seen cheeky, no. we've only seen pro, but I, I've got, I can tell by looking at him, he's a cheeky little demon. There's a glint in the eye, yes, Kyle. Yes. yes. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, I'm on to it. And what I love I loved when you guys re- read out the mean tweets that you had received. Oh, I thought so that good. was great. Who's, was it a producer's idea? Were you all up for it? Well, we were all up for it because we were sort of, you know, talking about the fact that there was this onslaught of, of scrutiny and, you know, the feedback we welcomed, but there was a fair bit of negative feedback <laughs> along the way. And we, somewhat, you know, we, we thought, hey, those the way that mean tweets are done that you've seen done before is a really great way of illustrating the silliness of it, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. And you've got to laugh because so much of it was, was pretty funny. A lot of it was pretty hurtful. But, you know, I think it's a good way to sort of highlight the fact that we don't take ourselves too seriously, we can actually, you know, poke fun at ourselves it as well. It desensitises it when you uh, have a laugh at it, I think. You know, you I takes, agree. The, takes the heat out of yep, it. Yeah, for those that yeah. never saw it on the Today Show, I'm going to just play a little bit of it here because I was I was laughing Good. out loud. <laughs> I was only in my undies watching on TV. I'm sorry to oh, put that hair on. Oh, there's an image that I'll have yeah. in my head now. Oh, sorry about that. Carl and his undies. <laughs> here's, here, and they were not great undies. <laughs> uh, here's Deb and Georgie reading out their, read, uh, their bad tweets. Roz sent in a, a message to us via a Facebook page. She said, saw today for the first time a couple of days ago, in brackets, not big on noise in the morning, but a disjointed conversation with a pair of scruffy, unkempt blondes looked like they 
they just climbed out of bed and hadn't even brushed their hair. Thank you, Sam. Return at the tuck shop, ladies. Yes. Uh, I think thank you to John, who says this just looks like a mother's meeting or a feminist rally. Oh. Well, John, clearly you've been to a mother's meeting and a feminist rally and come on board. Yes. We'd love to have you. <laughs> no, no. Now, I thought they were pretty tame. Uh, Jackie, I've given you a little sheet here. We've got some of the mean tweets that our listeners have sent to us. <laughs> oh. Feast your ears on this. Firstly, I'll do mine. Okay, you do yours. Fat, 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 fat. <laughs> yes, Kyle is still a fatty. <laughs> what happened to the fat shaming? <laughs> Apparently that's alive and well. Jackie, have you got one? Uh, wow, I barely recognise Jackie without Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Here's another one. Here's a tip. You can lose another 10 kilos by removing your fat head out of your anus. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Oh. I know, it's horrible stuff. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, okay. Th- they're not fun. They're no. not fun. Jackie should never go without makeup. She looks like a washed out version of AJ Rochester. Oh, that <laughs> oh, Of course, yeah. Uh, well, well uh, yeah, I did, I did get papped when I did go home and see the family, and the headline was Deb Knight, makeup free. And I'm like, <laughs> that's not a headline when I'm not on camera. I never wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. Oh Tom got w- Tom Tom got one to hold back on the Botox and as I said on air, well count your lucky stars because I get I get strongly, you know, advised that I need the Botox to fill oh, the wrinkles because wrinkly old witch needs Botox <laughs> no. is one I got. Oh, that's there was also a suggestion that De- Deb and I should talk about tampons because you know when two women get together that's, that's all women talk about <laughs> really, oh, isn't yeah. it, Deb? Yeah. This is crazy <laughs> behaviour. Like and you know what? There's not many haters, but only a few haters can seem like it's what everyone everyone's thinking but it's well, obviously yeah. not the keyboard warriors they do tend to sort of be quite vocal but we did get an email in support um saying that they thought that our hair people were back so we had brushed our yeah, hair this we morning. had brushed our hair uh, yeah. so we we were looking okay so I things love, are looking a bit brighter i love Good that girls. you're just uh just making a little little mockery of those people that are being it's, super negative and i think that's a great it's a great little act i like that and it's uh, well done for well it. i, I love remember it. when we used to do the mean tweets and we'd read them out every week you're right, it takes the sting out of it once yep. you, see, you start to see the funny side of it. And yeah. it's an easier way to deal with well, the trolls when you can laugh at it. you've got to laugh. Exactly. I mean, you've got to laugh. We, we go into this gig with our eyes wide open. It's an aesthetic medium. People, um, people, you know, have you on in their in their homes on a daily basis. And I reckon it comes down to if people are feeling a bit flat. I mean, it's the same old thing with bullies, yeah. isn't it, in the schoolyard. If you're feeling a bit flat, drag someone else down. So yeah. we, we take it all in our stride. And we do the best we can with the content that we can to give people some light in the morning, to have a bit of fun. Obviously, we're there to inform with the news. But and you're one week in. One, what, like, week, yeah, week in two early days. days. Come on. Early days. <laughs> yes. <laughs> early days. Have you got, Deb, have you spoken to Carl? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I have. I have. I mean, he's a he's a great mate of mine. We were in LA when I was a reporter for Channel 10 and he yeah. was a correspondent for Channel 9. So we go way back and, you know, he, he wished me all the best. Oh, and um, And I did to him as well. I was so, invited yeah. to the wedding, but I didn't go. You didn't go? Oh, it's just too much. It was our last day. It's and a then very I long way. I would have had to fly to LA and then fly down to bloody wherever they were, yeah, over you, the wall I'm not or big over on the, the long just, like location weddings. <laughs> no, me neither. Yeah, destination yes, weddings. They're very big, right. aren't they? And then the gift, I would expect wedding. to be, not only pay my travel and my missus, but also accommodation and then an expensive <laughs> gift. Forget it. Yeah, what was he thinking? He should have paid you, what Carl. Was he That's thinking? what I think he should have. An appearance <laughs> fee. <laughs> Actually, it was, I was just texting with him the other day too. Uh, I can't even remember what that was about. Yeah. But uh, he's a funny little thing, that car. Uh, but he's he's happy. Oh. Everyone thinks he's de- he's devastated. But he, he's, he's he told right. me years he's ago. Doing okay. he wouldn't, yeah, he was. He said to me years ago, "Oh, can you hire me at the radio? I can uh, get off the Today Show." And well, I thought maybe, maybe now you can. No, no, <laughs> we've got, we, we can't replace Brooke. No, right? he's he's busy at, at he, nine. We're still yeah. he's oh, still right. here working. And, and I I agree. Uh, Kyle, he's yeah. in a good he's in a good place. He, I, he, he sent me a lovely message on day one last week, and um, he is in a in a great place. And I think the next chapter for him is going to be super exciting. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. I agree. Um, and d- I, uh, what's wrong, Jackie? Oh, sorry, I thought we were wrapping it up. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Not that I want to wrap you girls up. up. (laughs) I need to blow my nose. Sorry. Oh, God, you're such a mess these days. I've got a big band aid on my forehead. I've got a runny nose. Blow your nose then. Let it blow my nose. Go on. Off you go. I understand. Let it blow. Let it blow.
<laughs> oh, you, can't do, you can't do that stuff on TV, can no. you? No, you can't. You've got to wait for the ad break. No, or if you do, right. someone will comment. Don't you worry. No, I know. <laughs> and you, you can't you can't wear a whopping big bandage on your forehead like that, Jackie, no, just what by did, the way. Well, Georgie, you've had uh, the same skin cancers that I have. I've, I know you got one cut out, didn't you, of your fo- in your forehead right at the I've top? I've had about 15 cut out, including Jeez. on my forehead, one wow. on my lip. But um, I think you have been on air with a, with a Band-Aid before doing the 6pm news. Well, thanks. I, I, I did, Deb. I out. thought I had the hair covering no, no, it up, well, but clearly not. I saw not. you in the makeup room and I was like, <laughs> wow, how are we going to cover that up? But they did. They did. I need you some up tips on how to, yeah, exactly. I need some tips mm. on how to cover mine up. God, well, you've got the world's biggest <laughs> Band-Aid on there. <laughs> Mine's huge, though. Like, that's the only thing you'd see usually, uh, like an 18-year-old girl nightclubbing with some hideous <laughs> shoes on and that's wrapped around the back of her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big Band-Aid, man. one of those Band-Aids. <laughs> not a little well, nice there you one. go. Another another timely remember a timely reminder to you know. know protect your skin. I yep. wish I had of all those years ago because it's coming back to bite me big time. Mm. Sadly, the damage mm. is done. Yeah. yeah. Well, who would have even thought you'd been in the real sun with all that fake tan on you? Oh, I don't oh. tan anymore. No, it's all about the fake. <laughs> it's all about the girls. Yeah. Do you real tan or fake tan? What I I cannot stand fake tans, Kyle. I can't stand the smell of them. Yes. They make they just make me feel really grubby and dirty. Yep. I just don't. I, I they sort of make me do it around Logie's time, and they. They sort of wheel me into a room and the, the hair and makeup people say, you have to do it, you have to do it. And I always scrub it off the next day. And you I'm always not feel a like fan. a car being spray painted, yeah, don't you reckon? I know. I just, I don't dig oh, them. I know I some people it. really like them. I just, I'm not a fan oh, I'm of addicted. the tan. I have it done every like three or four days. Well, oh, I, grew really? up in, I grew up in Coffs Harbour where when I was a kid, you would, you know, bake out there with the baby oil all over you yes. and you didn't care about the consequences. My skin's shocking, so I'm always big hat, under the shade, and um, you you know, I embrace like the pale. You girls look like a good colour, though. I thought for sure you would have been tanned up. No, right. no, no, no. Makeup, no. makeup. Yeah. Oh, makeup, mm. yeah, mm. fair enough. I get the, I get the tinted moisturiser on the arms. That's what I do instead of the actual tan. Give that a go. I'll give, give that a go, go, Jackie. And yeah. at least I won't smell like B.O. It does smell bad, <laughs> it doesn't does it? Does I smell. will give you that, Deb. <laughs> and all this time, I thought it was that panel operator that reeked no, the No, it's me. It's me. To you. <laughs> Ladies, look, good luck. Uh, before you go, I'm just going to quickly just ring Carl on my phone just so we can all say hi. Oh, good. It doesn't hurt. I, I didn't know holidays in Queensland somewhere. Well, yeah, he interrupt his holiday. Oh, I didn't even know. He probably won't even answer. You know what he's like screening calls. He's he, better wake, little... he, he better answer with I wake up with today. <laughs> I hope he will. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he will. <laughs> Uh, no, nothing. No, Hang on. No, no. Yeah. Screen. Not That's a total <laughs> screen. Okay. Yeah, it's a yeah, screen. yeah. You got hey, you. Carl, it's us, all your friends. <laughs> Bye. Hey, tell, Bye. Him he just, tell him he just missed out on $60,000. Yeah, exactly. You didn't say oh, I wake up with today, so you missed out on the cash, my friend. Never mind. You'll know better next time. Bye. Oh. Slow learner. Yeah. Yeah. You think you buy now, we'd know, right? Yeah, exactly. Right, well, look, girls, good luck with everything. As we said, you're into your second week. Did today's show, it's uh, uh, you're on at 5.30, right? Cause I, we are, and we're going through till 10 at the moment with oh. the tennis being on. So, you know, it's four and a half hours of fun. Can't miss us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> girls, <laughs> enjoy girls. Melbourne. Uh, we'll see you back in Sydney. Thanks. When are you back? Next week sometime? Yeah, yeah. we'll be back on Monday, bright and chipper in the new studio. Well, same studio, just a few little tweaks just here and there. Just a few tweaks, Deb. Yeah. Yeah. A little splash of yeah. paint just doesn't yeah. kill anyone, does yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just to keep the viewers happy. A bit of extra happy. gaffer tape to hold the desk together. <laughs> Lovely to chat to both of you uh, and all the success to you, girls. Thank Thanks, you. Georgie. Thanks, Deb. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah.